Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we'll be taking a look at the way that I handle visual effects workflows between DaVinci Resolve and Adobe After Effects. Two great programs, and it's a question that I've gotten a lot. So this particular scenario, it's applicable to most visual effects scenarios, but just to give a shout out, where shout out is due, it is from uh, YouTube user Raul Hams 88 so go tell him hey and thanks for suggesting this because I think it's going to be a really cool tutorial. So his question was about the workflow that I would use for raw green screen footage and if I would go into After Effects first and key it out and do other visual effects and then color grade it but working with raw footage there is kind of weird or going into DaVinci Resolve first and coloring it and then bring it back into After Effects but then you lose some raw data and it becomes harder to key and my answer is do them both at the same time. Mind blown. Whoa. So what do I mean by that? Let's hop into DaVinci Resolve and I will show you exactly what I mean. So here we've got this footage of my, my old buddy David. We were doing some visual effects tests and you might not be able to tell it because of the grade, but he is on a green screen right now and we used raw stuff. So I've color graded this first and you're thinking, Theo, this isn't doing it at the same time. You color graded first. Wrong. I actually color graded second in this workflow, but I'm using the original source material from both at the same time. So what I did here was I took this and I colored it, you know, made it look good. You can be really sloppy with your secondaries because I know I'm going to key all this green out in the back. I went and I rendered it and my particular render settings was a TIFF sequence at 2.5K. If you're wondering, I only did 8 bits because we're not going to be doing any color grading inside of After Effects. So let's hop over into After Effects and I'll show you what I did there. In After Effects, you see I've got it already keyed out and I haven't added back in my colored footage yet. So what I have here is uh, some, some buds and I were doing some tests for kind of a true detective look. And that's, I think we got pretty good there. So what I did here is I have the original source footage here, which looks completely different. I've got it ready for, you know, color keying instead of color grading. I've got that. I've done my kind of typical, you know, keying workflow and then finally I've got this assemble comp where I'm kind of my first stage of getting all the elements together and here you can see I've got these keyed footage comps and what these are is just what it seems like it's the keyed footage here so what I'm going to do is since this doesn't look the way I want it to yet I've just already taken the liberty of importing the colored sequence all right like that that looks pretty sweet it looks way cooler than this so I'm going to do is I'm going to click this and I'm going to drag it underneath both of the keyed footage layers but now you can see there's no longer a key. What I'm going to do is select the footage and change my track mat from none to alpha mat keyed footage. I'm just going to do that on both of them. And now you can see we've got it back. I'm just going to switch this one's blending mode to overlay so it fits in. And now you can see we've got our color graded footage all contrasted up and looking nice with our original key. So what this is doing is letting each program use the source material for doing what it does best, you know, After Effects for keying and DaVinci Resolve for color grading and letting you combine the two. So After Effects has this keyed footage and then it just uses that key information to pull a key from the colored footage, which obviously could not have any key because I took out all the green because I didn't want to deal with that. and lets you make something look, you know, pretty cool. At least I think it's pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, tell me your feelings down below in the comments because it's always fun to see engagement on these videos. Once again, shout out to Rowlhams88 for suggesting this one, but there were several other people that have asked for this in the past before whose names I have not written down on my handy notepad document. So you know who you are and thanks for suggesting it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meissner Media YouTube channel. If you want even more Meissner Media stuff, we've got links for social media and a website down in the description below. Be sure to check them out and say hello over there. While you're over there, I encourage you to post any stuff that you've done using these tutorials techniques or any other cool techniques that you see that you think other people would like to see. Also, be sure to share these videos with your friends and colleagues in the video world who like to look really smart by using a bunch of different programs to make, you know, cool looking stuff. Once again, I've been Theo with Meissner Media. I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.